<clears throat> okay. So let's see where inspiration takes us with this one. This is the good doctor. If there is such a thing. If there is such a thing, this guy is it. Even, even though he is very much still caught up in the illusions of certain secular and s separation uh, matrices m matrices <laughs> but the work that he does um, the, the retreats that he does with with fasting that is ooh and that that reminds me I just downloaded a I think it's a documentary documentary about fasting and I've yet to watch that it seemed fairly interesting ah I forgot to get that dang it I'll definitely let you guys know if it's uh it's worthwhile. The, the description piqued my interest enough that I I went ahead and <laughs> got it. <clears throat> so yeah, this this is a quick one. Uh, I said it was like ten minutes long or so, and uh, he's talking about. I've yet to watch it. I watched the first fucking uh, <laughs> thirty seconds, maybe. And I, I just decided to uh, <laughs> maybe make a little quick video or review or whatever. Um, kind of going to, in, into my experiences, my perspectives with this. Maybe shedding more clarity and more light upon what's really going on. P potentially, we'll see where we go with this. So, uh, there are, before I start to play any of this, I don't know, I'm, I'm just going to go off here. So, so, like I said, we'll see where this goes. With, with sound, <laughs> ah, and this is a whole nother fucking, there's, there's so many things. This is a whole nother, uh, video, just, uh, ther the, the topic of therapy in and of itself. Like, uh, what that means for collectively and for the individual what is therapeutic what what is going to reach the person in the moment what what do they need first and foremost that person needs to listen to themselves to dive in and learn to listen to what their body is telling them what it needs what the soul needs because if we can feed the body but we can also enliven the essentialness the essence and the spirit the soul And this is, this is where uh, the real magic of tuning and toning and working with uh, sound therapy, if you want to call it that, <laughs> vibrations, toning, we vibrate and enliven all of our cells in the physical body but also we we move past that if if you dive into it enough you experience gnosis to the point where you just release into it and what happens is you start to tune and tone and create vibrations and sounds that 
uh, don't necessarily make any like sense in the form of you know what what we have been taught to uh, form you know wrap around or wrap our minds around you know the the mentality of the vibration but once you release into it and just flow uh, the things that will come about you know a lot of people will call this uh, like spontaneous uh, this is touching upon a subject that's uh you know, speaking in tongues, but that's not what this is. This is allowing a language to come, come up and come out. And this language that happens, we don't, we don't try to make sense of it as much as we just feel it, and it flows. It, it's it's very much like dance because life is a dance. Everything is a dance, and if you're not in the dance of life, then you're not flowing with it. You're in, you're in some kind of a caught up uh, point of stagnation, a blockage, and that's that's where all this ease starts is with blockages, because we're not allowing our energies to flow like it needs to be. So whenever you're tuning or toning, release into it. Allow yourself to experience the vibrations. Allow yourself to feel in your core all of the vibrations. Vibrate your whole beingness with these things. And we can use we can use tools like you know uh, singing bowls or chimes or tuning forks or uh, drums any kind of instrument every any and every instrument. But the uh, the most when it, whenever we're talking about t toning for the benefit of realigning and healing, the most profound experiences I, that that we can touch upon is our our own toning with our own resonance our own vocal cords and allowing what needs to come up to come up and not attaching ourselves to any kind of outcome or expectation but just a flow of allowance Personally, I really enjoy doing this while I sun gaze in the morning and at sunset. It, it's a, a very, very powerful healing. And I definitely encourage everyone to do this for themselves. And just release into it. Not have any kind of expectation. But just, just experience it. And feel what it does for you. If possible, be barefoot on the earth while you're sun gazing and toning, vibrating. You don't even necessarily need to make any noises. Even just listening, being out in nature and listening and, and becoming and melding into the vibrations and the resonance all around you, this too is toning. Balancing, grounding, vibrating, attuning to the life and the vibrations around you, within you. Uh, and good morning. Today I'm going to give you a short little, well, video on one of the most simplest, easiest, freest things to do, which is called sound toning. Some people call this sound healing, 
And it is healing. It's healing because you get a chance to make sounds. And the sounds you're going to make aren't, aren't words. Even though you may be listening to, to songs that have words, I want you to try practicing uh, tuning, humming a tune. I'm probably, I, we'll see if I stop, how frequently I stop this. But, yes, they're not words in the sense that they're not words that we have been taught. But there are words that are essential and they exist within every single one of us because they are the quintessential nature of what we are think about you know uh, ignorant people want to call it baby talk whenever infants and, and uh, babies are beginning to make sounds and noises and beginning to talk what sounds and vibrations are those Pay attention to that. That's just very fucking important. Because that is the original essences and our original language. I was once told that I needed to learn baby talk. And that was in... This is coming from a person that... thought that, I mean, as with most people nowadays, they think that they always have to blabber on and, and, and just talk basically uh, nonsensical shit, like surface level shit. So my response to that was, do you know what true communion is? Do you know what true communication is? Do you, do you know what true language is? Whenever I'm holding an infant, the and I'm looking into its eyes, his or her eyes, the, I don't, there's no need for baby talk as you think baby talk is. Because the talk or the language or the connection that is happening is through the eyes and it's, it's on a level and a speed that language or, or any kind of verbal uh, sound uh, absolutely cannot keep up with. So whenever I look into a young child's eyes, a toddler or an infant, whatever it is, and, I mean, at times, yes, uh, a little bit older people, teenagers up to maybe uh, adolescents, adults, sometimes adults, if they are able to tap into that communion through the gaze and let go of needing to form words upon the impressions of what they're feeling. Then we can commune in that way. But that that's pretty fucking rare nowadays. Because we have all been taught this fucking language, whatever language that we speak. We have been indoctrinated into capsulizing and boxing life in essence into these these limiting words that fail to bring to life the, the truth that is within the resonance and the beauty of experience. With your heart, remember, trying to really feel this, this exhilaration of, of the singer that's singing this. You bet you're feeling like exhilarated. And even if it's music that doesn't have lyrics, that's the best music. You want to go ahead and have music that actually makes you feel happy, makes you feel energetic, not sad, okay, but energetic. Not even really listening to the words. Remember, you're, you're listening to the music. It's a little different. So if you're going to... Listen, let's say, to, uh, well, let me just turn on 
But before I do a uh, example, remember everything's tuned. Your light, vibration, and sound. So light we try to get from the sun, from our plants. Okay, that's plasma. Okay, vibration, you get that from your minerals, from your plants, and different oils and so forth. And uh, vibration is is done through the throat, throat, the throat chakra. Uh, and this is just a perfect experience, uh, a perfect example, rather, uh, of someone who who is continuing to learn and, and integrate and uh, come out of what he has been brought up through, which is the uh, hardcore indoctrination system of the medical industry. So he he is definitely really helping people, but at, at the same time. Ah, uh, there's such, a, there's a thing that has too much good, you know, and I, this thing has been keep, uh, ha, has been popping up for me in my experience lately, like, uh, repeatedly, which, which is like, is there a thing that's too much water? Because I've heard that there is, and it's like, and I try to explain it, and then the third party comes in, and oh, I have a medical background, and oh my gosh, yes, there absolutely is, and blah, 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 blah. Bro, there's subtleties to everything, and there's, uh, each individual is their own thing, so it's very dependent upon the individual. Yes, uh, for most people, they're, they're not taking in enough hydration and water anyways so they don't have to worry about taking in too much water it's, it's just getting uh, more, more and more difficult to really have uh, conversations with people to where they really want to learn and they don't just want to regurgitate So yeah, with 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 this guy, uh, I definitely recommend him, uh, Robert Kassar. You you can learn a lot from him, uh, but also do your own work, do your own research, do your own listen to your own inner guidance, and where that leads you. Okay, so. Speaking words of wisdom does gain a certain energy field in your body. Speaking words of hate, that also stimulates you to be able to, to not only feel that way, but your body's makeup inside the cellular structure is distorted. Yeah, and all, all you need to do is research... Uh... What is the guy's name? Um, I, I don't remember the guy's name right now, but essentially you can you can research uh, the effects that intent has upon water, and you can do this for yourself even with like uh, the rice experiment and whatever of programming a certain inch type of energy into rice or any kind of substance and if you can look at the cellular structure of that or or you can see what what kind of uh bacteria happens what kind of growth happens with certain energies and you know we, we are told that we are mostly water right and so these vibrations have a huge effect upon water and upon our own being. But also the intent has a even, even bigger effect. So whenever we are vibrating or toning or whatever and we are experiencing bliss or love, that that is a huge firestorm and effect that happens of, of benefit 
then on the flip side, if, if we are not in a good place experiencing depression or any other darker emotions and then listening to sounds, then, then that's going to have that kind of effect in programming upon our system, upon the water within us. So when you think of love and or feel of love, feel of curiosity, the feel of joy, bliss, happiness, nourishment, care, all these things, in your song, as you're, you're singing with, but not with words, remember, ha, 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 whatever way, sound, even if your voice is terrible, doesn't matter, no one's there but you, and I want you to really get into it with your heart. Yes. This is going to clean your emotional body. Yes. Okay, this really helps the healing of people that have emotional problems. Not so much physical, but it does send by... Ah, and this is probably uh, one of the many aspects here that, that he is really yet to divine or gain insight from or have that aha moment which is that the emotions dictate the emotions come first it, it, it's, it starts on the subtle energy level and then slowly if we if we don't deal with it if we ignore it or if we cultivate the negative energies then it manifests eventually into you know what what scientism wants to uh, or the medical field wants to have you believe is a certain kind of disease or cancer or whatever but first it starts with the emotion and deep down we all really know this, we do. But because of the system that we've been brought up in, we've been taught to believe, oh no, this is this is the reason. No, we, we have the correct answer. If you want to heal yourself, you have to heal your heart first. Your core of your emotions, where it stems from, heal that, and you heal everything be beyond just the physical body. And in so doing, you help spread that vibration out into the ethers, and everyone picks up on it on some level. So heal yourself and heal all of us. It starts with you. The clearer you get, the, cl the more benefit we all get from that. We all benefit from you taking the time to heal yourself. So if you're doing this, I send you so much gratitude and love. Thank you for doing this and taking the time to work on yourself. Because that is the exact same thing as healing all of us. Thank you. Vibrations of love, because you're feeling the love, you're feeling the love in the music. So listen to music that, that maybe when you were in love, okay, but not music when you're sad. Put in music that makes you makes you feel inspired, makes you feel emotional, but Good way emotional, not bad way. I get what he's saying here, and yes, you don't want to cult. Oh, of course, we don't want to cultivate a negative emotion or energy, but there is a thing of release, and whenever we are caught up in whatever is going on, and we're caught up in negative emotions in our lives, sometimes we we have that nostalgia factor or whatever it is to where we have a certain type of, type of song that, that reminds us of our pain and it, and it helps us to release it so if you're engaging tones in this uh, certain sense to where you're 
it's aiding you into releasing, then that's that's beneficial. But be sure that you you are indeed releasing and that it's helping you to get it out and yes, vent. I don't recommend venting onto someone because no no one needs that fucking bullshit projected onto them. So whenever you vent, do so alone. Let it out. If you need to cry your eyes out, like do so. That's that's healing in and of itself. Uh, it, if you have been led to believe that crying is a weakness, then I'm sorry that you have been led to believe that, but that's not the case. Allow the tears to heal you. Yes, there are levels to everything, and we can cry uh, and still hold on to our pain and, and cry, and that's not necessarily a good thing because we need to cry to where we release. If you need to cry, the main thing is the release. Feel. Feel so deeply that you realize what you need to realize and just release and if you need to let the tears flow let them flow but just release and, and that will cleanse you okay so remember the idea is that you're going to clean the emotional body by by your love that you have not only for the song but the humming Tune of the song. Remember, you're not going to say the words because the words are weird. Because yeah, I'm sorry, I'm stopping this so much, but sorry, not sorry. Uh, but <sighs> tune of the song. Remember, you're not going to say the word other than the music. So listen to music that, that maybe when you were in love, okay? But not music when you're sad. Put in music that makes you makes you feel inspired, makes you feel emotional, but good way emotional, not bad way. Okay, so remember the idea is that you're going to clean the emotional body by, by your love that you have. Not only for the song, but the humming, the tune of the song. Remember, you're not going to say the words, because the words are weird, because they're connected to... So yeah, the inspiration is key here. The inspiration, wherever that takes you, if that takes you... Allow inspiration to take you into the depths of your inner being to where you need to shine light on the dark places within yourself that you've been ignoring. This is where the true healing is. And oftentimes it's going to be very painful whenever we touch upon these things that we have been ignoring for so long. It's going to be very painful. And we are going to break down a lot of times for a lot of us. It's going to be a breakdown and tears will flow and that's fine and that's good. And you don't necessarily need to involve anyone into this. We don't need to have a pity party with this. This is, this is prime time for you to break your barriers and heal. No one else needs to be involved with this. But even in saying that, we are all involved with it. What I am saying is, find a place where you can be potentially isolated, potentially in solitude. Find your place of solitude, no matter where that needs to be for you to feel safe, yes, but just to feel open, to feel like you can release and like it's okay and just let it happen. To, to words. Words mean a lot of different things, okay? A lot. Okay, right. you can say words uh, like uh, hello, 
right? That's great. Hello. Hello. Oh, hell. Hello. Okay, they're all different hellos because they had different tunes to them. So try to give the, hey, hello. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's, and it's all about, beyond the words, what's most important is the, uh, Intonations, the the levity, right? The intent behind everything, anything and everything, always comes back down to intent. That precedes everything. Whatever it is, happy hello, okay? In your singing, and the singing, like I said, is non, non-word yes, singing. Yes, yes. So you're just going to hum the songs and try to do that for a couple of songs. And I recommend don't even do songs. Just, just do it in your own place, like your own little meditation within your sanctuary. And allow the song to... This is this is what happens whenever people go into ayahuasca ceremonies to where they have the Icarus and the, the the shaman sing for them. It happens through inspiration and in uh, spontaneous flow. It's a spontaneous nature that happens, and you just allow it, allow that flow to happen and manifest as it will. You don't attach yourself. To anything you just allow it to happen this is some of the most powerful healing that 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 we can access that we have at hand we don't need to go to someone for this we don't need to pay someone for this we have everything we need already and this vibration doesn't just attune and heal our cellular level it, it heals our fucking spirit and our essence it heals our soul it reunites us with the essential nature of creation, vibration, intention, purity, love. It reminds us of what we truly are and allows us to dissolve illusions. If you like dancing, dance. Get the physical body <laughs> It's if you like moving your body around, you know, yes. then get into that too. But it's at float. least, if you feel it from the heart, yes. okay, this is a very beneficial therapy. Yes. A lot of people I know have emotional instabilities. A lot <laughs> of people I know have Almost a lot everyone. Of frustration, a lot of doubt, a lot of uncertainty. This helps all those syndromes, and it's free. Mm. And all you have to do is listen to the music that you feel is the best music. Okay? The best music. For you. Yes, and the best music, in my opinion, is the music within. The music that is all around you, if you just learn to listen, everything's vibrating. And if you go out in nature, like, just listen to all the animals. Eventually, you can even hear the plants all around you. you. You can hear all the vibrations. And then you can become attuned to it and realize that it's an orchestra and it's not... It's not random, like, whenever you're out in nature, like, all these sounds, they have a, a very specific purpose, and, and, and once you realize this and, like, go to it, like, it's such a fucking beautiful realization to have, oh my god, and then whenever you realize that <laughs> you are a fucking human being within this, and your emotional state has a direct effect upon all of this around you you start to really tap into what you really are why you really are why does nature respond to you your emotional state your vibrations your resonance why this is it just coincidence come on There's a reason for you, there's a reason for me, and there's beauty within everything. Open up to it.
you to be able to feel inspired, feel not so much in love, but you're in love with the song, the song. So here, let me turn on the stereo. And yeah, we're, we're not going to go into that. <laughs> Because what I encourage, yes, uh, draw inspiration from any and every song and also allow yourself to be guided to the songs that you need within the moment. And then even beyond that, allow your own inner song of your orchestra, of all your cells, of all the little subtleties within you operating and... and Pay homage to that. Pay attention to that of the song within yourself and vibrate with that. Go out in nature. Still your mind, still your body. Feel the resonance and release into it. And that's going to be the most, most powerful healing that anyone, any of us can ever have. Release into the nature within and without. Wake up to what you are, to what we all are. Feel it. Peace.